Hey y'all, how you doing today? So, um, I, yesterday I put some, uh, different colored writ dye into some spray bottles and like this here, and I labeled them all. So I have seven different colors and, um, I bought those for a different reason and I, uh, that project kind of got by the wayside. So um, I wanted to try and use them like oxide sprays uh, because I don't have any oxide sprays right now. So these are all done and I'm just going to flip through them. I'm not really sure what the best way is to show you this because the backs are completely different. And um, what I did was I put them in a pan and then I uh, sprayed them with water. And then I just grabbed random uh, bottles and then just started spraying. And then I crumpled them up, right? See, look at how cool this is. Let me pull that back up. See how cool that is? It looks really grungy, like it's been through the, somebody, <laughs> somebody stepping all over it and whatnot. Um, I totally forgot what I was saying, but it just, it didn't really do what the oxide sprays do, obviously, and I've never had any of just the regular ink spray, but I crumpled them up, which is where all these uh, darker lines come from, and um, I left them in the pan overnight, and they just, they weren't completely dry when I unfolded them, but... Um, I ironed them flat and that kind of dried them out. But I think it's really neat how the back of the papers look completely different because the paper wasn't soaked all the way through. And so what I'm going to do is I didn't get these completely drenched. I just took a regular spray bottle. Where is it? This here, um, this is not starch, it's just plain water. Um, I just, you know, did a couple of sprays with that and um, just enough to get it a little bit wet to see what this um, writ dye was gonna do coming out of a spray bottle. And um, because it didn't come out how I expected it to, what I'm gonna do is take some more paper and I'm going to fully submerge it into um, probably uh, coffee or tea um, to see if I can't get different color. Uh, but I'm going to get it completely wet and then I'm going to spray it again with different random colors and then see if I get a different reaction. Um to paper that is completely drenched wet as opposed to just a couple of spritzes of water on there. And um, this one was a little bit wetter than I expected uh, when I was pulling it uh, out of the pan to crumple it. And so I actually tore this one before it even got dry. And some of them did tear a little bit, but I was wearing gloves, obviously. I didn't want to get all this dye on my hands. Um, but isn't that neat? Look at that. And, but I didn't um, use tweezers to pick up the paper, which is what I usually do. And so some of them got a few tears in them uh, that I didn't that I didn't want. So this this here, that's part of the crumpled up. That's from being crumpled. Well, this one has another tear in it, right? So it, there's not enough of the crumples on there um, that I was hoping for. Like when I when I dye regular, you know, coffee paper and I crumple it up into a a gently squeezed loose ball of paper, um, you get more lines on there. So I will do that uh, either today or tomorrow because I have to get another video out here uh, put together 
before November 1st so I can let y'all know what I'm doing with that. But see, this is what I'm talking about. And not, I didn't get a lot of that. So that's, that's what I was hoping for. So I will get on the other video and get that out. And then um, hopefully I'll be able to have the uh, next batch of this ready to go up tomorrow. So I hope y'all are having a crafty day. I am still getting over a cold, so forgive my stuffiness. And uh, I hope to see you soon. Happy crafting.